finally, we will see the connection with the general normal random variables uh, of the standard normal distribution. Let's say, let's see this linear transformation of ran normal random variable. The normality is preserved by linear transformations, and this is an important fact. That means if x is normal and a is different than zero and b are scalars, then the random variable y equal to a times x plus b is also normal. Okay? It's something important. First, let's see b is standard normal. So find values a and b so that this random variable x equal to a times c plus b is normally distributed with mean mu and variance. Uh, sigma square. So if we find the expected value of x, it's going to be the expected value of a times c plus b, and this expected value is a times the expected value of c plus b. But the expected value of a standard normal distribution, we have to erase this, the expected value of a standard normal distribution is zero, so this is going to be b, right? And we want this expected value to be, I mean, we, we want these sets, this distribution sets, to be distributed with mean mu. So that means the expected value should be mu. So this b should be equal to mu. And now the variance of x is the variance of a times c plus b. And this is this is a square times the variance of c, but the variance of a nor of a standard normal distribution is one, so this is a square, and we want this to be sigma square, right? So that means a is equal to sigma, and b is equal to mu. From here, so that. With that, we have that x is equal to, remember that the, the formula that we had before, x is equal to a times c, that means sigma times c, plus b, b in this case is mu, so we have this formula, x is equal to sigma c plus mu. We can go to the other direction and standardize a general normal random variable. So. That means if we have this c over here, we do some this some algebra. And we take this mu to the other side. This is x minus mu, and divide by sigma. This is going to be equal to z. So that means if we have a an normal this um, normal distribution, we um, we rest the expected value and divide by the variance, we have a standard normal distribution. And this is a very, very important result. Okay, this is the standardization of the normal random variable. Let's see an example on how this works. You are driving to the store, you expected it to take 20 minutes, but the actual time will depend on traffic. Say the true time adds follows an approximately normal distribution with mean 20 minutes and an and a standard deviation 3 minutes. Where is the probability that it takes you between 20 and 21 minutes to get to the store? So that means we have a normal distribution. We have that the parameter mu, the center of the distribution is 20. And we want the probability that it takes between 20 and 21. We have 21 over here. So we want to calculate this error. From the exercise, we have that x is distributed normal with parameter mu equal to 20, mean 20, and the standard deviation is 3, so sigma is equal to 3, or sigma square is equal to 9, if you want the variance. And we have to provide the answer in five notation. So the probability that they are asking is to calculate the probability that it's between 20 and 21. We can calculate this 
in the applet directly. Uh, we'll do that later, but we can also use the final dash. So how do we do that? Well, we have to standard uh, standardize the distribution first. So using the previous result, we have to um, let me. So we have to subtract the the mean in this case mu equal to twenty. So this is going to be the probability that twenty minus twenty is between x minus twenty uh, and and uh, 21 minus 20 and we have to divide by the variance sorry by the standard deviation sigma and then in this case it's three in all in all the uh, on all sides so this is equal to the probability that this is going to be our c random variable because it's now a standard and this is zero minus uh, le between zero and in this case is one over three. So now C is normal zero one. And if we do that, this is phi one over three minus phi of zero. So yeah, we can use the applet to calculate this and uh, we can see that this value and uh, this probability of of c between uh, 0 and 1 over 3 is 0 0.13 0 seats or we can calculate it directly uh, so using the applet for it's distributed normal with mu equal to 20 and sigma equal to 3 and we have that that is 0 0.1306 so in both cases we have the same result we can also use the normal tables to calculate these values but it's something that people don't use anymore but just so you know it, it exists you can calculate this phi of 0 0.33 minus 5 or 0 and this is around 0 0.6290 and 930 minus 0 0.5 this is equal to 0 0.12930 so it's actually it's and i think it's easier to use the applet in some cases it's easier to use directly for for our problem like this or if if we want we can standard standardize and use the standardization okay some properties we have here of the selected continuous distributions so you can keep in mind the expected values and the variance and the pdfs